this video shown is an experimental demo for showing the electromagnetic interaction with respect to moving a permanent magnet through a current carrying electric conductor wound in the form of a coil. Before going for the detailed explanation, let us see the movement of a movement at a glance of a battery and magnets put together moving in a coil track. Let us see this. This is a battery with positive end and negative end along with the magnets fixed on the both the electrodes positive and negative. Let us put it in the coil and just give a little push. Coil goes from one end to the other end. Okay. So this is just at a glance. But what is the theory behind it and principle behind it? That is very simple. The components are, the first component is the Panasonic alkali cell. This is 1.5 volt unchargeable battery, size AAA and the make is Panasonic. So this will be used as a source of the electricity. The next is the pieces of the magnet. These are the magnets known as neodymium magnets, very strong one. There, there are three magnets put together to form a set. Number one, number two and number three. This is one set. Similarly, I have another set of three magnets. Number one, number two and number three. The magnet size is, these, are, these magnets are disc type of the magnet. The magnet size being diameter 15 millimeter, thickness 3 millimeters, and grade of the magnet is N50. These magnets may be available on Amazon website online. For me, my past student, Mr. John K. John, was kind enough to arrange for a set of magnets as a gift. I thank him for this gesture. Two sets of magnets are placed here. Magnet number one set, magnet number two sets. These are the two magnets that I already shown you. Number one set, number second set. <coughs> Before attaching the magnets on the battery, polarity test is conducted for the magnets. Take the surface of the magnet of the uh, surface of the disc magnet near to a magnetic compass. Let us put a magnetic compass here. The compass has a needle pointing towards the north. The repulsion of the need needle confirms the south pole of the magnet because it will be repelled. Let us consider this magnet. Take it out and slightly put it near the magnet. Let the needle be steady. Let it be steady. It will take some time because it is very sensitive. Uh, even slight uh, movement uh, will... It, it has a low damping. Now we'll try it. Let us see for the repulsion. Yes, the magnet is getting, the mirror is getting repelled. So when it is getting repelled, that means the surface which is towards the needle is a south one. So I have marked this as a south one. Obviously, the other side of the pole 
is a north pole. There is no necessity of further t- testing it. So keep it here. Similarly, the other magnet also can be tested on the similar lines, which is marked as south pole here. Let us keep it here. Now these magnets are to be fixed on to the battery. The north pole of, of the magnet, this is the north pole, this was south pole. So the reverse is north pole. A washer is uh, fixed on this particular uh, magnet. The washer is of either uh, cardboard or a fiber washer. Washer, because this has to be an insulated one. It is to be connected to the positive terminal of the battery, and the positive terminal of the battery is slightly has a height. So, if you put a washer, then the magnet will be fixed in a better way as far as this positive pole is concerned. So the north pole is fixed on to the positive pole of the battery. This is the fixing of the north pole. South pole is not fixed. North pole is connected to the positive of the battery. Similarly, for the other battery, uh, for the other magnets, the North pole to the negative part of the battery is connected. See this. South pole not connected but negative is connected. These two magnets and the battery form a power supply for flowing the electric current. And this element when it moves from the copper coil, moves, moves in the copper coil, it serves as a sort of a mini electric locomotive engine and the copper coil being a trap. The neodymium magnets and the battery this is the when put inside the coil, the magnet connected to the positive side and magnet connected to the negative side, they are connected to the battery and they are good conductor of electricity. As soon as I place on the coil, a current flows in the coil from the positive terminal going to the conducting magnet, neodymium magnet and passing through the coil and again coming back from the other end of the coil to the negative point or negative side magnet and negative point. Thus the circuit is complete and the current flows through the magnetic coil. As per the Fleming left hand rule of electromagnetic motion, the positive side of the battery exerts a pull effect and on the negative side a push effect. Thus the arrangement moves from one end to the another end. The coil is wound from 18 SWG wire in a circular form having a diameter of 2 centimeters and the length is 15 inches or 40 centimeters having a pitch of 9 to 10 turns per inch or 2.54 centimeters per inch per 2.54 centimeters. They are 9 to 10 turns 2.54 per 2.54 centimeters. 150 turns of the coil are adjusted in a length of 15 inches and have the for the same said pitch that is to be adjusted. This pitch is to be adjusted. Now this is all description and the method of procedure. Now what is Fleming's left hand rule? Fleming's left hand rule is used to give the direction of the motion 
when the current carrying conductor and a magnetic field they interact. This consider this left hand. This center figure, center finger, is for magnetic direction of the magnetic fence. This four finger, the center figure is for the flow of the direction of the current. So these are two perpendiculars. These are at perpendiculars. Then the motion will be in the direction of the thumb, and thumb is perpendicular to both of these perpendicular. So this forms a three axis, and the motion is given by the direction of the thumb. That is what the Fleming left hand rule. Following this particular Fleming, Fleming left hand rule, current is flowing in the coil and a magnet is freely produced by these permanent magnets. Let us see what happens. The positive end of the coil is inter inserted first and then slowly the negative end is slightly pushed so that the current starts flowing in the coil and the pull is exerted on the positive side and push is exerted on the negative side to move the arrangement inside the coil. Okay, okay. The coil moves from one end to the other end. Let us see from the other end also. From other end, again, the positive is pushed inside positive terminal is pushed inside and slight push is given. So this direction also the coil travels. So this is a sort of a miniature train also. Now there are some precautions to be taken while conducting this experiment or arranging for the parts. The magnets are neodymium magnets, metallic, they are very strong. They should be separated by they should be separated by a suitable distance so that they do not come together. Once they come together, all the three and three six magnets will form a big magnet. And it is, it is very difficult to separate this magnet because large number of force, radial force is required. Then second most important precaution is the magnet magnet handling should be far away from the reach of the children or kids because the magnet size is so small that the kids will be fascinated, fascinated to play about it and may put in the mouth. That is precaution, second precaution. And difficulty arises only in the winding of the coil. It takes time and experience. The speed for 40 centimeters is 2 seconds only. And the life of the battery is 5 minutes. The reason is the battery draws a heavy current when it goes through a shorted coin. That is the reason. I hope that the viewers on Facebook have enjoyed this experiment. Though the experiment is simple, but it is very informative as far as the principles of physics and electrical engineering are concerned. Thank you.